Hello, yes, this is your girl, Queen of Commentary, and we are back with another video. Yes, we are going to talk about Sean Combs, also known as P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, or simply Diddy. And we are going to dissect his many love quarrels that he's had over the years and talk about, you know, what's going on today. But you know what to do. Leave us a comment thumbs up the video and also make sure you subscribe to the channel and cut your notifications on so you'll be notified so are you ready all right let's get into the video all right so you know Sean Combs all of his life I feel like has been debonair you know slick talker very eager uh he looks like a man who goes after what he wants and doesn't allow anyone to stop him, if you will. And in some cases, that's awesome. You know, that is a good trait, okay? You're not going to sit here and just tear apart uh, this man completely, this video, guys. We're going to kind of dissect what I feel as me being a 40 plus year old woman who has just been following this guy since I was a teenager myself. He just looks like he doesn't give a care about nobody but his dream and what he wants. And if you don't see what he sees, oh, he gonna make you see. He just looks like that, okay? Little background about him. His dad knew one of the biggest hustlers out there. Forget his name. But, you know, uh, his dad's a hustler. His, his mom is probably a hustler too. In fact, she raised him, okay? And with that being said, that placed in the right hands would be an awesome quality for a person, right? Just someone who is a go-getter, someone who is not going to give up, someone who, you know, basically, you know, wants to be successful. But unfortunately, if it's placed in the wrong hands, then all this stuff that's going on right now uh, happens. So let's talk about Miss Kim Porter, his relationship with that, okay? with her rather and uh what happened there is kim porter was a uh i think a administrative assistant if you will at uh the old label that i think it was called let me see town records i think right and andre harrell was the the founder there and the chief if you will and she was, uh, at the time, I think, with L.B. Shore. She's a model, or she was a model. Um, and she was with L.B. Shore, and they had, had a son. I don't know how quick that was all happening. And she and Nisa were friends, okay? Nisa is actually P. Diddy's first baby mother, okay? And, and there's some things coming out about that, guys. But we're going to, you know, we're going to talk about that in another video. But, yeah, that's his first baby mother. And the two were friends. Okay, and of course, uh, Kim is the same way, right? Kim Bride was the same way as far as her being a model. Modeling is not easy. You have to kind of go get what you need. You can't be shy and you have to be, you know, consistent in what you do. And so them two, I can see how them two um, kind of bonded or whatever. Um, by myself, oh my gosh, I wish she just just kept it moving and stayed with LB Shaw, to be honest. I'm <laughs> just keeping it 100. Sometimes, you know, those qualities in a man that's a go-getter and, and will basically push everybody out the way to get to where he needs, that quality put in the wrong hands uh, can be ver quite dangerous, okay? And so with that being said, of course, he's had some relationships with Cassie, and he overlapped a lot of his relationships. So when he was with Cassie, he still was messing with Kim. When he was with J-Lo, uh, he was messing with Kim. Guys, I'm not going to have pictures of all these people in this stern uh, video. I do apologize. I'm just doing this just to try and see if you guys will actually like it. You know, so make sure you guys help me get at least 10 likes on this video, and it'll tell me how you're vibing out. But anyway, um... So, you know, they kind of overlap the relationships. Kim, like I said, is a, you know, a model, 
go get her. She really didn't fade out too much. She was always there. In fact, she has an interview out there saying that she was always in the mix. Okay. She allowed a man to be a man. I guess he paid his way. You know, you know, if a woman is comfortable and she has, you know, all of the, the, um, the riches, if you will, um, clothes, fame and all of that, you tend to go through uh, or, or willing to go through a lot more than someone who may not be that uh, financially straight, if you will, you know, and that's unfortunate. You know, those, there are some things going around now that says that, you know, when they were off, you know, because in 2000, I think in seven, she just said, you know what, I'm done. You know, she had had the twins. He had had another baby on her with a lady named Sarah Chapman, guys. All these people can look up yourself. I'm just giving y'all just a little uh, tip of the iceberg, if you will. But uh, yeah, and so she was pregnant. They were pregnant together. They would call them ghetto twins. And she just said, you know what, I'm out. Well, during that time, uh, you know, P. Diddy, I think he feels like, uh, you know, once you're his, you're his, okay? You know, J-Lo didn't get wrapped up into that because there's a rumor going around that J-Lo too almost was his baby mama, but um, she dealt with that, if you will. And we don't promote that type of action on this channel, but uh, she didn't want to uh, get wrapped up in that, you know? And look, young Miami, you know, which I think if you look at her, she's like a blend of Kim and a blend of all his other girlfriends out there. She's a blend and she's just as, you know, ruthless as he is. You know, he kind of met his match in her, but let's pray for her and make sure that some of this stuff that I'm going to talk about that happened with Kim doesn't happen to her. Okay. But yeah, uh, when he was not with her, uh, or she was not with him rather, because you know, once you with him, that's it. You know, they're saying that, you know, he was listening on her phone calls and he would make it difficult for her to move on. I mean, she had, uh, dated the, uh, I think she was dating, a an actor, um, that was in ATL, okay? ATL, he's like a brown skin guy, and he was like, hey, you got a Picasso in your house. Him, she was dating him, and Diddy made it a little uncomfortable, you know what I mean? And she just couldn't have any other boyfriends. In fact, she was dating another guy um, that he's no longer with us. I think he was another, like, executive or whatever, and they said, you know, um, he... Uh, you know, he's no longer here due to some whatever. Y'all know what I mean. Y'all can look that up too. And um, anyway, with that being said, Kim just could not get away from him. He is obsessed. You know, he was really obsessed with her. Once you have like no vision at all, like you can't see, you can see, you know, it's grimy. You know, you can look at his fruits and look at the people around him. I mean, even in his own business. You know, let's, let's talk about, or let's just mention the people who are no longer here. I mean, Biggie and, uh, you know, we can even say Tupac. Uh, we can say uh, Black Rob and we can say uh, Craig Mack and some people. This is lots of people uh, that had dealings with Diddy. Uh, unfortunately, they're not here anymore. And so it's a little bit of something that to me, like, What's going on with this guy? It could just be, you know, he has the, you know, opposite of the Midas touch, meaning that if you're around him, you know, you just get something on you that kind of, oh, we and Miss Kim Porter, we all know that she's no longer here, you know, and there's some things going on and some things that are being said about Miss uh, Kim Porter's demise and things like that, but we'll get into that another video, okay? I'm just trying this out and seeing how y'all like it, you know. But anyway, um, so if you you know, meet a person who is literally everybody around him is either not here or they're not doing well. Oh, yeah, Heavy D, uh, Andre Harrell, um, and all of these people, you know, Andre Harrell, Heavy D, um, and Miss Kim Porter um, were reported to or allegedly were supposed to have tell all books about their lives. And even Mr. L.B. Shore, which is her uh, ex husband or child's father, rather, which is Quincy's father, by the way. It's a little bit of confusion between who's his son and who's not. Quincy uh, uh, Brown, I think his name is, is not Diddy's biological son. Okay? So let's just get that correct. That's not his biological son. 
I know that he uh, claims that, you know, that's his son or whatever. But th no, no, that's someone he, he, I don't even think he officially adopted him. I don't even know he's, adop I mean, can't adopt him because I'll be sure it's his father biological. And that is definitely his son. I'll be sure and his son look exactly well, like. You guys can look him up. Y'all know. That's his son. Um, now, as far as Justin, which is his first son from Misa. Okay, and uh, you guys can go in it. I'm just so being so a little lazy on this video. I'm not doing all this because I'm literally coming up with this on the top of my dome. I did not know I had so much information where I can just talk and I'm supposed to match the photos too. Honey, I'm not doing all that. You know, this is a new channel and things like that. And I'm not doing all that right now, y'all. I'm just not. Okay, so y'all can just go on, whatever, look it up, these people. But yeah, um, you know, Chris, I mean, not Christian, Christian looks like him now. Christian, that's that, that uh, King Combs. And if y'all think about it, why is he King Combs and not Justin? Justin was born first, right? But yeah, there's a rumor saying that that might, hot, that might not be his biological son, but we, you don't hear that from us. I'm just, you know, talking and repeating what I've heard from other blogs and other people who do the same thing as I do, okay? But yeah, I'm going to continue this talk on the next video. So make sure if y'all guys like it, leave some comments, leave some likes and things. And, and let's get into, we're going to get into um, all of this and talk about it. Because I thought this was going to be done in like five minutes, like every other uh, big, you know, issue that drops. I didn't think that this was going to go uh, as far as it's going. And it looks like, you know, the deeper you go in this rabbit hole, it's just it's deep, 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 you know, deep as his pockets are right now because by the end of this we just don't know but thank you so much for listening and we will see you on the next video